this puritanical you have to wake up when the sun comes up uh attitude is really really you know ingrained into our culture in in the united states and for myself and for everyone who has the sleep disorder we are told that just go to bed earlier, just lay down in the dark and close your eyes and you'll fall asleep. And that is just, it's so frustrating. That's like telling an alcoholic, just don't drive by the bar and then you won't have a tendency to go in there. You don't need to go to AA, just don't buy any alcohol, don't drive by the bar. That's like telling someone with an eating disorder, just digest something. Just, just say digest something. It's like our bodies are more complicated than that you know right. um and so if i get if i take the advice if i like get in bed at midnight and close my eyes and i don't watch tv or go on the computer because the blue light you know and i drink herbal tea and take melatonin and mm-hmm. get in bed at midnight what will happen is i will lie there from midnight until 6 a.m wide awake thinking about all the things i could be getting done if i was awake and lying there frustrated not sleeping it it just doesn't work the only thing that makes me sleep is ambient oh. prescription medication ambient melatonin if i take melatonin or um any of the over-the-counter um stuff if i get in bed at like midnight and take that stuff what will happen is it will not put me to sleep because my body refuses to sleep until my natural cycle which is 6 a.m so if i take all that over-the-counter stuff trying to knock myself out basically what happens is it doesn't help me fall asleep it just makes me fall asleep longer so that when I do fall asleep I'll sleep way later because I've got all those chemicals in my system if I had to take Ambien five days a week for a normal job I would get addicted to it Um, so yeah the only way I could force myself into a norm is to give myself an addiction to a sleep medication that's the only way I could be normal and fit into other people's versions of expectations of when you're supposed to get up and when you're supposed to sleep. Yeah, definitely. I think you touched on several really important um, points that how the society, right, even some medical providers are suggesting people and train us in a way that, oh, you have to do what in order to sleep, in order to fit into the norm. Mm-hmm. And even you use these sleep medications or force yourself to sleep and somehow can get up at a normal hour, uh, is that really productive? Is that really just not lazy? It, on the surface level, yes, you, you are there physically and okay, you are not lazy. But deep down, you know, your attention and your brain still need time to warm up, right? And uh, that's that's just the internal struggle. It becomes more invisible. Yeah. And, you know, for anyone for this disorder, my advice would be um, don't give yourself an addiction to sleep medication, trying to hammer yourself into somebody else's version of normal, because long term, it's going to be so bad for your health to have that and then what happens is if you take too many sleeping pills eventually you kind of build up a tolerance for it and then the sleeping pills don't work anymore but then you've carved out this life where you're so dependent upon the sleeping pills to get you up you know to make you sleep so you can get up for work the next day it's just it becomes an addict a drug addiction and so uh, yeah the fact that a lot of people would think that that would that would be the healthy choice just because that's what society's norm is, it, that's just kind of insane that that would be someone's, you know, opinion that that would be the healthy thing for someone with this sleep disorder to do. That's insane to me. You know, I, the the stigma that what drives me craziest about it is that if you have the sleep disorder, you're lazy. People get so judgmental about how lazy you are. I work out five days a week. My house is really clean because I have a dust allergy. So I, I, you know, I keep my house really neat. I, you know, get all the laundry done. I have to vacuum every week or my sinuses get bad. You know, I run my own business. I run a novel. I run my YouTube channel and my husband's YouTube channel and, and have a day job that, you know, makes me money. So it's just like, I get a lot more done than a lot of people. People who you know have the nine to five job get done in a day you yeah know? anyone who knows me would not would not define me as lazy yeah oh I totally love that I think this is such a you know key point I hope everyone who is who are listening or watching can really uh get it 
is that it's really mindset change to think about, right? You work from nine to five with a lunch break versus you work from maybe uh, 2 p.m. up to nine or 10 p.m., right? Mm -hmm. You could be equally productive or if you are this, this time window is the best for you, you possibly could be even more productive. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Exactly. what's the difference right yeah i mean why why does it matter as long as you're taking care of yourself you're taking care of your health you're taking care of you know the health and of uh, the people you love you know your children and you know your husband and or your pets or your your you know in-laws or your parents it's just like if everything in your life is harmonious and healthy and balanced then why does it matter you know what hours you sleep I, yeah. I, you know, we just have this stigma. And so, you know, to anyone listening out there who has this, do not let anyone call you lazy just because you sleep during a different schedule. Yeah, yeah, wonderful. I think all these are very great message for hopefully everyone can get and uh, really resonate it and think about it. And right, I want to say to whoever listening and watching, if you struggle with some kind of uh, circadian rhythm misalignment, and you feel like you're different from the rest of the society, don't label yourself as lazy yet, right? Try to really observe the symptoms, seek professional advice and do some professional checkups, really try to diagnose and understand what's the reason, what's the issues you're dealing with exactly, because there are so many sleep disorders you may have this one we are talking about, or you maybe there's something else in the picture, right? So get a diagnose and get some professional advice from a sleep doctor, sleep specialist. And I think there's a lot of coping strategies out there. There are a lot of treatments available, right? It also depends on where you are in your life. If you are able to um, carve out and design a life like ISIS, this is great. I really admire you to figure out this life journey and it seems like you are very happy and that's awesome. And for other listeners, you know, if you are not there yet, I'm sure there's still a lot of professional resources uh, can help you cope with it and try to navigate your life possibly better than you are struggling alone in the dark. <laughs> 